Jed, Renee, good to have you guys hunting with us here at Tronic Safaris. We started in the Safari down at Woodlands and later move up into the mountains. Now this is your first hunt in Africa and you've been looking forward to it for a long time. We hope to make it really memorable and have a lot of fun. We're both going to be hunting, so let's enjoy ourselves and see what the mountains give us. Steady. If you can, you can squeeze one off just behind the shoulder there. That's a good hit. You heard the thump, here. Stand still. That other ram now I'm gonna push, push, push him. He's lying down and that other thing's hammering him. Look there. Okay, so Chad, um, obviously not as bad as what we thought. I think it was maybe just a little bit back, but it had to have caught some lungs because he ran a little bit and then we saw that other one chasing him and giving him a hard time and he couldn't get up, but he's dead now. So, well done, man. That's a nice black impala. Put it there. We'll, um, we'll go around and have a look at him and get some good photos. Man, that's a nice animal. Yep. Hey, let's have a look at that. Pretty, eh? And there we said there's the... Obviously a little bit back, but it must have come in and gone into the lungs here somewhere. See, he's going grey on the end of his nose here. Very pretty. See what I say about the, the sheen on them? It is bright, 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 like a, like a racehorse. So that was when that, when that other ram came here and, and zapped him. But he's nice. He's, see, he's been rubbing on his horns. He's got all that green there, rock hard at the base of them. They are still one of the... My new favourite pretty animals. They're good, man. Put it there. Well, that's your first one. Well done. Thank you. Congrats. That's cool. So we've seen these seven sable bulls here that have just got up from, from a drink and a sleep. Um, and they're going to start grazing out. We're just going to go have a look, poke over here and have a look. It'll be a bit of a long shot, but um, if we can get nice and prone and solid, I'm sure we can make it happen. Shoot 
It's a hit. Just watching this. He's taking little steps like he's not healthy. Okay, when, when you're comfortable, the one standing on the left there? Yes. Are you, are you one? He's facing right, eh? Yeah, the very back one. Yeah, yeah. the very back one. Yeah. Okay, squeeze one into him again. Ooh, wee. That's wonderful. Jeepers. Did you watch it going in the glass there? I'll have a look now. They were both in. Just where the shot hit, that's where he went down. See the ripples off the waters, you could see that, but that's why I think we got the wind call right for a change. There wasn't any. Oh, look at that, wow. Jeepers, he's awesome, eh? Jet black, this old bugger. Have a look at that, man. Yeah, so, I mean, you can't get prettier than this, really. This is as black as they come with a white belly. In Afrikaans, they called a, a black white, uh, swart wit pants, a black white belly. That's the other language in South Africa, but he's really, really nice and old, yeah. Um, hard right to the bottom, perfectly symmetrical horns, which they often don't have. Very, very long. They've got thick, thick skin like this around the shoulders, yeah. That's why their mane grows like that, backwards and forwards like that. It always stands up straight. Awesome animal, man. Tell you what, you aren't too many running around like this. Not a tick on him, he's in pristine nick living out the dam. You can be very happy with him. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. You'll make a great man. some games back there, but there's, when I last saw there was one blue and, and three golden. They all look good, I just think the one golden might be a bit young. But we'll just go and have a good look, the one looks very, very big. When you watch where they're going, these things are quite, they are the toughest of tough, but I, I saw a good swinging arm there. I mean, you can't believe how far this thing ran. Eh? What was that? 400 yards? 300 yards? 350 yards? Fippy's a great animal. And now you can be very happy with him. Yo. So there you guys know about the blue. And he's the same as the blue with these beautiful lines that come down his body like that. Nice old cracked up horn, so you can see he's nice and old. He's pretty straight up, but he's flipping wide. And they've got this nice blocky square head again with the hair. You know, on the blue wallabies, it's black over here, and this guy's golden. 
He's an old bull, he's pretty scored up, hanging out with those other guys. So yeah, a very nice one to take back to Texas, well done. Congratulations, perfect shot. Thank you. Right, so this morning we saw a lot of Nyala bulls. One shootable one, but the rest were all young bulls. The shootable one got away. Um, so we've had a bit of a break over midday. Nice and partly overcast this afternoon, and hopefully we can get on another Nyala bull. We've just come to another area where a bull was seen a couple of days ago, and give it a go. Just be a bit patient here. Yeah. How do you feel? Pretty good? Yeah. Okay, let's just wait till he gives us a nice clear shot. If you're ready, squeeze it off. See it? Did him good. I've still got him in here. Yeah? Just watching him there. He's not happy. I wonder if we miss him. He, he, he's standing, sore, looking away, but we might get another shot from here. I wonder if we shouldn't move to the 360, so it's maybe one click back. And just left of that white line, I reckon that's where you... Just like that. That's him. What a shot that. He aimed shot. I feel happy about going over there. That's a hell of a shot that last one. <laughs> oh, I was still saying go wait. Uh, uh. <laughs> there he is there. So I think he must have come down off the bank and fallen in the riverbed, yeah. Yeah. Have a look at that guys. Chad, check at that thing, man. Flip it. He's awesome, eh? We watched him for how long yeah this afternoon? What was the 375 and then right the 360 the second shot? We just gave him a bit of reinforcement. He was on the top of the bank and then he came down, you remember? What a beautiful animal with this flaring horn that goes out. You could see this horn the whole time while we were watching him, but yeah. 
flipping impressive. Can be very perfect shot them, and it was on a slight quarter. <laughs> White didn't die from the first one, but we gave him another one. And we've got a great Nyala here. See how his hair was standing up there for a while, but he's very pretty. Very nice one. Well done again, man. Good shooting, my man. Thank you. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so it's early morning here. Yeah? We've had quite an exciting morning so far. Sun's not even up yet. And we were always wanting a lynx, but we're heading up to the northern camp. And uh, we got phoned and told there's a dog pack with a lynx. They had a, a, a scent of a lynx, and we've got here, and they've set, got a treat. So we're very happy about that. Um, we're just going to take a walk down into the valley here. If you listen carefully, you can hear them. We don't know what kind of a cat it is yet, um, because it's been dark, obviously, but we'll see when we get there. will be in that tree that that dog's climbing on there. You can see the dog standing up, looking up at the tree. So let's just walk where we've got a bit of cover that this cat doesn't get too spooked. Okay, come. Is it come. Just yeah, you just point it forward, point it just to the right of its head. Safety off. Forward. Short. <laughs> well done, very good. <laughs> so that's that's the monkey. It's it's not too fresh, but he's obviously hunting them here, and that would have been one of its old kills over here. So that's obviously where the dogs picked it up. But you can see how dewy it is here. So that's why it's good for the dogs and to be out. See how fresh here. So always in the low valleys, that's where the cats walk in. So our dogs gave a chance. But there's enough of them. Same story, if you get there and, and you, it's going to jump you because it's a big cat sometimes when you go, then you must just lead it and give it a hit in any case. Hey, 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 you so good. One good cat deserves another, and uh, another pack high in the mountains here on the same day. Um, also treat a cat, as you can see, this is an exceptional male. The other one was a very big female. This is as big as they get. Um, so we came here, he'd been in the tree for a while, the dogs did a very good job and managed to get a shot off, and this is the result. We're very pleased with him. Um, yeah, I can't tell you how big this thing is, you're going to have a real treat here, Chad. It's a, a great animal to have. God, it's all a lumsy, like that. Yeah. See how big he is long? We reckon he must be close to 20 kg, so that's fantastic. After a very successful morning, to getting two awesome cats, we went to the mountains and uh, had a little lie down, something to eat. Now we come out looking for Kudu. A lovely evening. And we first valley we looked into, we saw a monster bull. And he gave us the skip and ran out following a female. We we're hoping to summit this mountain here and look over the top on the other side. Hopefully he'll still be there with her. Our sun's at our back and wind's in our face. So should have a good chance.
Our plane did not work. Um, we got over the top of the mountain and the kuru was in tight be below us and spooked out and he's following a female and he's run oh, five miles and still running. So we're just trying to see where they're going to go. We can maybe get a chance at them in the morning. But it's not looking that great right now. I'm not as positive as I was 10 minutes ago. It's a mature bull. I just want to get a good look at him. You see them fighting, they're having like a standoff there. Exactly. See, there's three, there's a third one, another one to the right. Let me have a look at him, if he's a bull or just a bull. Chad, sir, he's a big, mature bull, but I'm going to pass on him. I just hope we get, maybe, uh, you know, this guy, we just had bad luck with him following that cow. Normally, if they come past bulls like this, they will stop and have a little fight, but, yeah, I don't know if we'll see him, but I think we can maybe, with a bit of luck, do a bit better than that one. So, That's sort of what I'm thinking. when you can shoot him in the shoulder when you're ready. Squeeze one into his shoulder. He puts his head down. Okay, now I'll shoot him in that front shoulder. It's a hit. Look at him running there. Look at him. Oh, what a shot. Look at him. Watch him. Lung shot beautifully. He's running at the back, he hit him perfectly. Oh, what a shot. 412. 412? <laughs> Fantastic, well done. That was a hell of a shot. A hell of a shot. I'm very pleased with that shot too, I'm telling you. It's very impressive. That's fantastic. 
Should we take a walk down there and have a look at him? Here we go. I'm thinking he was dead on his feet. He just didn't know it from how that shot looked. Look how nice that is, wow. So there was a, a bunch of uh, males here together and we just sort of picked one that was um, just with a pretty skin and you, you see that skin, so it'll lie on the floor and that. And then the, the, the virtuals or plain zebra the stripes go right around to the belly, as you can see here. Um, and the stripes go all the way down to the leg. And you are the, 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 the black's always a little bit higher than the, the, the red. That's how they control their body temperature. So the black stripe always looks like it stands up a bit. So but the virtuals or planes have this, this other one here, which they call a shadow stripe. So yeah, they, when they, they're obviously a bit dusty, they wash out, they get a bit whiter. But for me, it's a very pretty skin, yeah and a wonderful shot, well done. Just where that shadow starts on our side. Just got up onto the right there into the slot in there. It's just gone in behind one of them. It's a pitch black pool. Just, we're just going to see what his plan is, where he wants to go to before we... The car's closer yet. Great hit. Great hit. Well then, man. The great freaking bull. What a shot. Okay. Congratulations, mate. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me along, boys. Yeah, like a call. Well, all good things come to those who wait, eh? Yes, patience was the factor. Very good, Chad. That's a hell of a bull, eh? There's one hell of a shot, my man. We're finally getting to where this bull fell. We've come around with the vehicles. Um, luckily, there was a road nearby that we managed to use. Um, but what a shot that was, man. Yes, sir. We had Carl helping us. What did the bull last night? And uh, we managed to get onto him with a bit of patience this morning. There he is there. Look at that, man. Yes. How spectacular is that? Do you see how thick his horns are on that? And Carl spoke about the Roman nose. They get a bit, you see how it's like almost that shape? But I tell you, you, 
when you've seen a lot of Kuru, you don't you realize how big this guy is. Body, neck. Um, most talking about deep turns. Have a look down there, and there's a perfect circle. You can see his eye. So if you have a look, there's a per through the horn. It makes a circle. See that to, to his eye. So from his eye, he can always see the tip of his horn, and he can that when he was hitting that bush and feeding there. So you can see what he's doing over there. That's why I'm saying the deeper the turn, the often the more impressive they are. But flip it. Now look you. You don't bump into these guys every day of the week, I tell you what. You can't believe the mass of this guy over here. And you see when they get old, he's starting to rub there. He's got ivory over there on the tops. Long ivory tips like this. I mean, how long did we watch him for this morning? Flipping three hours? Yeah. And came down, fortunately he came close to following a cow. But he just wouldn't give us a shot. He was just behind a bush every time. And he made one mistake and, well... We were lucky to be there when he did it. This rat neck's unbelievable this time of year. Chad, I don't know, you, you, you haven't seen anything else, obviously, but, you know, for, for this time of the year when you guys are hunting, you're absolutely spoiled for choice because it is in the absolute prime time. And, I mean, as he was meandering through that forest, you often mentioned to me over your shoulder, you said, you can just see how heavy he's on the hoof when he was going through there. And just spectacular in every way, man. And I'm glad that I could give you one back. Spotted him last night, and this morning it all worked out. Yeah. yeah thank you. So we gave Jeff one, and Jeff gave us one, and that's the way it works. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. Thank Very you. good. Well, thank Thanks you. for the help, Carlos. Cheers, Edo. Anytime. Nice. Enjoyed the hunt. Good fun. Man. Yeah, we're going to be nice ass tonight. Man. <laughs> In peace. <laughs> <laughs>
I thought we were going to have a lot more time than that. Django's got him. Yeah, here we go, that's awesome. He's got even like little stripes on him, but that's, that's a great heart of his, that. Um, so the more twists and turns they've got in them, the, the better they are. And then if they've got these long kickers that go back like that. Nice old bull, they've got the red shoulders. Um, Bla a black blaze on the nose with a black and they've got the white bum and yeah, the bullet sitting here. He's in good nick, nice thick red neck and the bulls get a darker colour and obviously these thicker massier horn, nice gnarly grooves and that, he's very nice. That's an awesome bull, I've been watching him for a while, well done. Another great animal man, congratulations. One to, to the right, right that's coming. Oh, it's two bulls chasing each other. Yeah, look at that one. Yeah, he's better, but he's still not quite there. And the hair standing up. Yeah, they're right. fighting. He's, is that what happens when we fight? Mm.
What an awesome trophy that is, and I'll tell you, these big old pigs are flipping hard to get. Have a look at that there. Good old one tusker, great thing to have. But the thing, that, like I was telling you about these warts, how big they are, and look how massive these ones are. He's a real old gnarly pig, been like rolling in the mud, eating in that little patch there behind us. I think he's very cool, and thick and heavy, big old yellow teeth, that's what we look for. Broken off both ones on that side, so anyway, that's a wonderful trophy to have in your trophy room, I'm telling you. Good old one tusker, well done. Thank you. I've got no wind. I'm trying. Yeah, he, so he's the one on the left. You've got the two. Yeah. The one on the he's left. looking at us. Yeah, he's looking at us, yeah. You need to let him move or? No, I'm happy if you take him in that front shoulder there to the left of his mouth there. Right, you ready? Yep. Solid hit. I have 95, Chad. Solid hit. That was a good hit. That was a proper hit. He's going to go down on the skyline there. There was more wind than we thought. That was the problem. It must be pulling through this, this thing. Yeah, just low on the grass level there. There we go. Well done. These things are uncannily tough, Chad. They, they're known to eat bullets, I'm telling you. And that's a flipping great wildebeest there. So this is what you want in him, these big knobs like tennis balls over there on the top. And then, you know, you look for a thing that's worn out like this, long points up. They've got eyelashes like a that are white and the white tail, that's the white tail new and the hair that stands up there, but yeah. If you have a look at that hair on the nose, he's a good one. Man. That's a very nice black wildebeest. Chad Renee, the sun's setting fast on your last day of uh, your safari. I'm sure you agree we've had a great time taking some wonderful animals between the two of you. And really long shots, we've got some great footage. We hope to see you again in a few years time. And maybe you can bring your boys along that they can share in the Jonix experience. Thanks very much.